What's up guys? Happy Sunday. Welcome back to the poker vlog. We're going to be playing some 25 no limit at the Aria. Um, 200 to 1000 max. We're on a bit of a heater here. If you're new, we got 10 in a row so far. Can we keep it going? Make sure and stick around to the end. Um, I always post my statistics and talk about a few other things and always that bonus content with the trick shot at the end. Um, so let's get started at the Aria. We'll see you at the end. Alright, I grabbed 1500 in chips in case I need to add on, and I will very quickly in this session. Just to give you some context, as I was uh, setting up here, there was an all-in. Uh, one player lost about 1000 and pulled out a 5k chip. The next 5 or 6 hands he 3-bet or raised every time, so I already know I'm going to be getting involved with him quite a bit, and I do on my first hand here. The straddle is on, and I have ace-king from the button. The first player, which is the player I mentioned at the beginning, opens to 30. It's folded to me, and I 3-bet to 100. It folds back to the original raiser who makes the call, where heads up to a flop of jack 5-6 with two hearts. He checks to me. I'm always betting here in position, as I would with an overpair or any strong hand, so I bet 120, hoping to take it down right here. Not happening, though. He gathers out a check raise of 420, pretty much committing himself. It feels pretty weak, but this guy doesn't look like he's in the mood to fold. So I make the lay down and we're going to look for a better spot. The very next hand I have 4-7 of spades. Under the gun opens for 15. Haven't seen much from him yet. I call from the cutoff. The same player from last hand. 3 bets to 80 from the big blind. Original raiser folds and I make a loose call in position. It's not necessarily about my hand strength here. I'm just looking to get involved with this opponent in particular. We go heads up to a flop of 8-7 deuce with 2 hearts. He leads out for 120. Middle pair might be good here, so I make the call with some intentions to bluff certain turn and river cards. We get a deuce of spades on the turn. It's not a great card. He gathers out a bet of 350. I go into the tank thinking about jamming, but it's a pretty terrible card to do so. I'm pretty much dead to a 7 if he has a pair of 8s or better, and he's not going to buy that I have a deuce here. So I hold fire and make the lay down. So not a great start. Quickly stuck 400. I add on for 400 more. About 30 minutes later, we pick up queens on the button. Under the gun and plus one limp, next player raises to 20. I put in the three bet to 80. The under the gun limper flats and the original raiser calls. We had three ways to a flop of ace, five, four, rainbow. Both players check to me. Given the under the gun limp and the early position raiser, I decide to check back here as it's likely one of the players are holding an ace. Maybe we can spike a queen. Turn is a four of diamonds, no help. Now under the gun player leads for 150. The other player flats. Easy lay down here. Glad I didn't fire on that flop. River is another ace. First player checks. Second player bets 400. Obviously has aces full there. I lose like three more three bet hands, just missing all the flops. We're in the game for 1700 in the first hour. Haven't scooped a pot, but don't worry, it's gonna get better. About 20 minutes later, I pick up queens again from under the gun plus two. I raise to 15. The small blind and big blind both call. Three ways to a flop of queen, jack, three with the queen, jack of diamonds. Here we go, finally hit a flop. Unfortunately, the action player is away, but happy to hit a flop here. Both players check to me. I bet 20. Small blind calls and big blind folds. Since I have top set here, it's likely he either has A, a diamond draw, B, a straight draw, or a combination of those two, or just a jack looking to improve. So we go heads up to a seven of hearts on the turn, total blank. He checks again, and I want to continue betting here to charge those draws. I bet 60. He makes the call again, so now I'm pretty sure it is a flush draw as he's likely letting a jack go. Off to the river of a three of hearts, giving us the nut full house now. He checks again, and I'm not expecting to get any value here since all the draws missed. I bet 125, thinking he's gonna make a quick fold, but he starts reaching for chips. Is he going to make a move here, or could he possibly have like ace three of diamonds thinking of a check raise? Come on, let's go. He tanks for about 30 seconds, grabbing more chips, but finally decides to just call. I show him the goods. He shows 10 three of diamonds. Wow. A great just call from him. He loses the minimum. Definitely the wrong player holding that hand. 
I uh, surprised he doesn't lead out there on that river or make a small check raise. So nice uh, just call by him. 15 minutes later, we pick up Ace King of Spades under the gun. I open for 15. The action player in the cutoff just calls this time and the big blind calls. So we had three ways to a flop of Ace 6 3 with two clubs, no spades, big blind checks, and I bet 25. The cutoff player calls and big blind folds. This player easily has been in 80% of the hand, so it's difficult to put him on a range. Turn is about the worst card possible, deuce of clubs, completes the flush draw as well as the open ended straight draw with a 4 5. So I plan on check calling here because he must be looked up one time. I check and he bets 65. I make the call and the river is another bad card in the four of spades. So now just a single five makes a straight, flushes out there as well as any two pair connecting hands, ace two, ace three, ace four, ace six. I check and he puts out what looks like a value bet of 125. As I said, I have to look this particular player up. I call and he shows ace queen so we finally beat him in a pot and get some valuable information as well that was the first time he didn't three bet in position especially and he had a pretty strong hand so I'll remember that moving forward about an orbit later we pick up pocket nines from plus one I raised to 15 player on my left calls and the small blind makes the call three ways to a flop of ace queen four with two spades not a good flop, small blind checks, I check, and last opponent checks. Probably not putting in any more money on this board until, wait, bingo, nine of hearts on the turn. Wow, it's like I feel like I've turned more sets in the last 10 weeks than over the last 10 years. The small blind bet's out now for 20. I'm looking to get some money in there now with some flush draws and, and some straight draws, and it's likely he has an ace. I put in the raise to 65, the other player gets out of the way and it's back to the small blind. He goes into the tank for a bit and decides to go all in for 380. I obviously snap call. The river is a queen of diamonds giving us a full house now. He shows ace nine of spades. Just a ridiculous turn card, the case nine. And I didn't even realize until checking the video that he had the spade draw as well. So I had to dodge an ace and the spades. So we're making a bit of a comeback here. I think this pot put me back up a few hundred. So I'm around 1900 in front. I'm in the game for 1700. Keep this video rolling here because the very next hand I pick up pocket fives under the gun. I open for 15. It folds back to the big blind who makes the call. Heads up to a flop of king, king, deuce with two diamonds. He checks to me and I quickly bet 15. He doesn't believe I can have it again so he puts in the check raise to 45. Well, I don't believe he has it either so I put in the three bet to 125 and he makes the laydown. Keep it rolling again. Very next hand from the big blind, we look down at two kings. The heater continues. Action player raises to 20 from the hijack. Cutoff calls and it's to me. I size up to 105, out of position here. Um, and I know the original raiser is just never folding in position. He makes the call and the cutoff folds. We go heads up to a flop of jack, eight, seven, rainbow. Given our previous action together, I like checking here as I have check folded to him a few times so it might induce a bet. And this board favors his late position range over mine, so I check for deception slash pot control and he checks back. Turn is a jack, which is a good card as this player hasn't checked any pair this session. I bet 100 and he folds. About 30 minutes later, I pick up pocket sixes and the cutoff. Under the gun straddle is on and it's folded to me. I race to 30. Button, big blind, and straddler make the call. Four way action to a flop of eight six four another set middle set and a multi-way pot rainbow flop it's checked to me and i'm definitely making the straight draws pay here i bet 75 the button who has been a tighter player makes the call and the straddler the action player makes the call no flush draws out there so we're looking for anything but a five or seven on the turn we get the best blank possible six of hearts on the turn no way quads just a dream spot here and a $350 pot, three players. First player checks, what to do here. I debate putting out a small bet to induce a raise, but I kind of decide against that because I want to keep all the straight and flush draws in there now. With uh, the board pairing, players will be less likely to pay for those draws as they'll be worried about full houses. So 
I check, hoping the last player makes a play at this pot, but unfortunately he checks behind. River is a 7 of clubs, which is a pretty good card, completing the straights now. A 9-10 gets there, and uh, a 5 is a single straight. First player leads out for 200, and it's to me. It's the same player I've been battling against, so I'm going for all of it. He has about 450 behind, and if he has a straight, he might pay it off. I jam all in. Player in the middle folds, and it's back to him. He tanks for about 45 seconds before finally making the laydown. Good fold if he had a straight there. Pretty strong play from me, though. I can't really be bluffing with that player behind. He had about 2,000, so I'm sure he uh, realized that and uh, made a good laydown if he did have the straight. And for the last hand of the night, for the 11th session in a row, pocket aces. Yes, aces again from the small blind. Will they stay undefeated? for the vlog. Somehow three players limp. First time the whole session. I try to pull a slick move here after the button calls. It looks like that's my blind. So I go to make it 40. I take his chip. The dealer says, nice try. 35 to go. Total accident. The action player calls the 35. Same player I've been battling with uh, all night. Button folds. We go heads up to a flop of ace, king, queen, rainbow. Another set. No big deal. I bet 35 and he folds immediately. So not a big pot, but uh, just for the viewers who have been watching the vlog, seeing pocket aces every time. We're on a streak here with aces and we keep the streak going because I play for about another hour. We get down to five handed. All the players are pretty good. So I decide to call it a night, book a small win. We climbed out of another hole, $700 hole, and we book a win of $219. The streak is still alive. We'll see you at the end of the video, guys. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed episode number 11. The streak continues. The beard's gonna stay along with that streak. Let's keep it going. Small win, but hey, we climbed out of a hole again. Um, feels good to keep doing that. Um, as always, try to be as transparent as I can. Put the stats right here. Um, these are the stats since I started the vlog. So we're 11 episodes in, just crushing, running hot. Let's see if we can keep it going. I think starting March, guys, I'm going to start trying to post a second video during the middle of the week. Let me know if you're interested in that. I noticed after I post this Sunday video, pretty much by Wednesday, the views are kind of done. Um, and I'm about to uh, get out of my day job and really focus on this content. So probably going to start mixing in some 510 here soon. I'm starting to get comfortable enough uh, recording at the table. And hopefully the run good continues as we climb stakes. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. We will see you probably next Sunday, unless I can get another video out before then. Um, please hit that like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. I greatly appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time, everyone. Yes!